Miss Kay. Kay Kalmbach. varsity and junior varsity cheerleaders for you. From your left, front row, Haley Myers. Captain Nika Campbell. Captain Jose Barbancourt. Mackenzie Johnston. Lily Stuber. Stephanie Young. Maddie Militello. Second row, from your left, Audrey Lewison. Faith Hiley. Leah Peterson. Taylor Rank. Brianna Nishimori. Jacqueline Reichel, and Haley Brooks. Third row from your left, Haley Wiebe, Captain Caitlin Schultz, Captain Carrie Meyer, McKenna Hill. Fourth row, Erin Hoke, Annabelle Oscarson, Brandy Mulfield, Kaylin Myers. Ladies and gentlemen, these are your 2017 fall football cheerleaders. Five, six, seven, eight. Thank you. I'd like to introduce my assistant coaches this year. They're former cheerleaders from Fairmont High School, Shelby Reitzel and Amy Wanky. And uh, we're excited to have cheerleading, so we're really looking forward to tomorrow night's game. Good luck, everybody. Thanks, Deb. Uh, here we are, 2017 Pet Fest. Um, yeah, woo! Uh, kind of an exciting time of the year. Um, 
the last couple of weeks, I've just kind of, you know, started thinking a little bit more about this year. Uh, there's a lot of planning. There's a lot of, you know, emails and phone calls I make through to other ADs and, and whatnot. And um, first time in I think about seven years, I'm excited. I'm excited for the school year. Um, I'm excited to teach. I'm excited to coach. I'm excited to watch all the athletes compete. Um, I think it's just it's, it's an exciting time of the year right now. Um, before I forget, we do have a couple things here. Um, over here we have Cardinal an Annual Passes. Um, and you, you might want to stop over there because we are going to be doing a drawing later. And if we pull your name, you get a free one. Um, also, we have the Booster Club selling pizza. Uh, so we got a nice little deal over here. Um, how it's going to work tonight, I'm going to bring every sport up. Um, uh, athletes, I'm sure your coaches are going to want you guys to come up uh, with them. Uh, so kind of be prepared for that. Um, but we're going to go through every fall sport. And then we'll finish with our school song like we typically do. First up is our volleyball coach, Haley Lortz. If I could have all 9th through 12th grade girls come up. Um, I don't remember the last time we had 72 girls out for volleyball. 
Um, it's just flat out amazing. It's great to see students uh, trying different things and excelling at those things as well. Next, I'm going to bring up our uh, legendary head coach, Coach Bob Bonk. Coach has only been doing this for about 40 years, and he's already sweating just to come up here. 42. Okay, I'd like to uh, to say a little bit about the cross country team as I'm doing that. If you could go, come out, uh, coaches ahead, and then uh, as much as possible, seniors on down. Uh, we've had uh, two meets already, and we've got against a lot of opponents. Uh, the first meet was as Coach Mahoney mentioned, the early bird out here, and uh, the guys finished second out of 12 teams, and the girls were first. And then uh, today, we just got back from Mount Lake a couple hours ago, a 12-team meet, and the guys were fourth, and the girls were first. Uh, it's been a, a fun fun start to the season. Uh, they were working very, very hard and covering a lot of miles. Uh, many of the runners, uh, we're, uh, ran many miles this summer throughout the city. You've probably seen them all, all over the place. And uh, we're very happy with, with the effort they're giving. Um, on the far end are the coaches, and uh, Coach Mark Denneman, step forward, Mark. And Coach Stu Murphy, and our volunteer coach, Holly Noish. And Jen Keeler, I don't think she could make it, but I want to say among those three coaches right there, and I'm not exaggerating, they have run in their lifetimes together over 150,000 miles, and we're not ready to trade them in. So uh, they're uh, great career, lifelong runners, and uh, still can keep up with the teenagers, and it's, uh, they're a very impressive group. Uh, we have some excellent captains, and I just want to mention those folks for a minute. Uh, and have them step forward first. Uh, right here is Ileana Ramon and Jen Kaler, <laughs> Emma Kaler, sorry Emma, and uh, where's our third one? Megan, hello, there's Megan Hawkins. Okay, so those are our three girl captains, and they've uh, been in cross country for their whole life almost, and they're very fun, uh, fun young ladies to coach, and I'm gonna miss them greatly next year, but we're very happy that we got this year yet together. And the boy captains, uh, we have uh, Andrew Moeller, I see him there, and uh, also Dayton Pash, where's Dayton? Step forward, Dayton, those are our guy captains, and are doing a great job, that, and they're very happy with, with their leadership. So, we'll just go on down the line, uh, we'll have you step forward two steps, and then I'll see who you are. Laura Ramon, Annie Middlestead, Kaylee Wiederhoff. Okay, here we go, Anna Sunblad, Noah Walter, there's Dayton, there's Kellen Rodriguez, Cody Lane, Bethany Lindsay, Sarah Crumholtz, Andrew Dillon Kennedy, CJ Garbers, Darian Keeker, Donovan Krill, Blake Haugen, Martin Middlestead, here is Yahtzee Balderas, oh, and there was Jacob Luce sneaking in there, and uh, Kobe Melo, Emily Karakas, Will Sari, Connor Artner, here's Becca Lund, and Hannah Noish, Tabitha Thatcher, Sarah Sunblad, there's Laura Thompson, Emma Goodall, who we got? There is uh, Anna Lindsay, and Angelica Karakas, and Lin um, <laughs> Lenore Hamlet, Lenore just moved here from Missouri, and we have Kareen Moeller, and Allison Jansen, and Jack Hagan, and Mia Acosta, there is Abby Spear, and we have Ashley Muller, and Amy Sari, and Tabitha Wilner, and then we have Brooklyn Pfeffer, and Lily Higgins. So this is most of our team, we have a few people who couldn't make it tonight, and I uh, encourage you to come out and watch the Cardinals when we run. Our, we have two more home meets uh, out at Cedar Park, both of those, uh, and they're big meets and, and high quality meets. And uh, to me, we're really always uh, focusing on is a section at the end of the year, which will be in Bloor this year. So uh, it should be a great opportunity to come and watch the, the cards at their championship level. So thank you very much.
One more round of applause. Before I, and I want to and I want to specify a round of applause. Our girls finished first in the state class double A meet last year. Let's give our girls a round of applause. It's pretty amazing the talent that comes up here in front of us. Um, last year they had an outstanding record, um, and we're looking for good things. And I, and I truly believe our boys are going to surprise a lot of people, especially um, after Coach Bonk put some miles on them. Um, next up, I'm going to bring up our. Uh, I think it's your. I think your third. I think your third on the tenure list, Mr. Nielsen. I don't. I don't think Bonk's ever going to go. So, um, but I'm going to bring up our head girls soccer coach, Matt Nielsen. So we have a whole flock of Cardinals. Um, really, really uh, proud of all the players so far. They've been, you know, we, we start early mornings and uh, we've been going twice a day. I have yet to have anybody who's had a mysterious malady uh, at, at 6.30 in the morning. Everybody's been remarkably healthy all year. Uh, and all the attitudes have just been great. They don't know how to sing and dance as well as I'd like them to. That means we need to do a lot more penguin dancing which means we need to do a lot more winning. Um, but in general, I am just thrilled with this group of people. I do have three coaches here who are all hoping I don't have a heart attack so that none of them have to speak. Uh, right in the middle here, Jacob Brower, Kate Shanning, and Kelly Quaring. And uh, between them, they have never run 150,000 miles anywhere. So that's, that's their personal record, and they're not gonna try to beat that one. I then have some seniors here behind me. I'll start here with uh, Wendy Sanchez, Brenna Horky, Celia Simpson, Kyla Keynes. What? Kynes. Eighth year in a row, I get it wrong. Sorry. Claudia Blaze, uh, Taylor Eicholtz, Brielle Mead, Morgan Shriver, and Brooke Hunwardson. I told the girls at morning practice I would not introduce everybody for the simple reason that you might have to check me into the, oh, you can't check me into the loot swing because it's closed, but somewhere else you'd have to check me in. I have two captains who'd like to say something awesome. Hi, I'm Brooke Hunwardson. Hi, I'm Morgan Schreiber. And we're your captains for soccer. <laughs> okay, we have been working on a lot of stuff this fall, and it's just really coming together nicely. Okay, and then we're two and one in the conference, so we're off to a solid start. And then our next home game is next Thursday against Worthington, and if you come out, I can promise you a win. See you there. Thank you very much. Cardinals, run away. You're good to go. Next up, I'm going to bring up our boys soccer coach, Brady Meyer. start off with uh, thanking everybody to come out here today. Um, you know, we this year we actually have uh, pretty good numbers. Uh, last couple of years we've been down and this year we actually have enough to field a varsity and a JV team, which is great. And we also have a very strong showing uh, for our C squad too this year, uh, which is great to see. Um, we don't have the numbers like the girls do, unfortunately, um, for our program. Um, so we don't have uh, as many, but um, it's awesome to see a lot of these guys returning. Uh, we have a big 10th uh, uh, grade class. We also have a nice big 9th uh, grade class too as well. So uh, look, 
look to these guys uh, in the future. Um, they're doing great right now. They are uh, two and one right now for our JV. Our varsity right now, we are kind of off to a rough start, unfortunately. Um, we're 0-3, we're, we're but uh, the work ethic for these guys has, has been outstanding. We've been going two-a-days uh, every single day since we started practice. Um, I, I, I can't say enough on, on their work ethic, uh, how hard they push themselves, each other. Um, they're working every day to get better, which is always, always great to see as a coach. Um, speaking of coaches, my coaching staff is not here today. Uh, my assistant coach, Chris Johnston, uh, he got a trip to uh, Hawaii, so he's in Hawaii sunbathing on the beach, but he was watching our game last night, um, so he had some notes for me this morning. Um, and then also we have uh, a returning alumni, uh, Matt Tennyson. He uh, is actually working at, uh, going to be teaching at Grenada. And so he has his open house tonight, so he couldn't uh, join us as well. So um, I'm going to pass it off here to Darren. He's going to say a few more things for us. Hey, um, my name is Darren, and the other three captains are Tom, Jake, and Matt. And uh, we're really looking to improve on the season. Um, we got a lot of good guys, young guys that can do a lot of good things. And next home game's on Tuesday at 7 o'clock, so be there. <laughs> All right, thank you guys. Good luck, guys. Next up is our girls tennis. I believe we reached 40 this year, Coach Johnson. So we got, again, we just got phenomenal numbers in our girls tennis program. Um, unfortunately, we don't probably have enough courts for you, but um, sun's not down yet, so. Mr. Bohody's correct. We're really happy with our, our numbers this year. And uh, as we get our large numbers to walk by me here, it's been really, really good to, uh, to have a, a lot of different people to work with, a lot of different talented uh, talents that they bring to the table. The girls have been working awful hard this year. A lot of these girls have spent an awful lot of time in the off season. They've hit an immense amount of tennis balls uh, over the course of the last three or four months. We've gotten a lot better. We're really, really proud of the fact that uh, we've just kind of set goals every every day and every match to take a step forward and climb one more notch on our ladder. And uh, I, I can truly report that after our first, we've already played eight matches already, uh, and we have taken a step forward in every single match in every single practice, and we're, we're really happy with that. Uh, a lot of that has to do with the leadership or, that are being provided by our captains. I need them to step forward, please. Okay, there's Sydney Haney and Brittany Bass, and Holly Petroyak could not be here tonight. Uh, but they've done a great job in their, their leadership, uh, not just during the season, but in the off season, and organizing get-togethers for these girls. This is a very close group. We enjoy each other. Uh, you should have seen us earlier. We had the whole team out playing playing uh, tennis, volleyball, believe it or not. And you could hear the screaming probably from the other side of the, the highway for all the fun we were having. Uh, it's been a really good, good, uh, fun season for us. And uh, we're really looking forward to just continuing to get better. Uh, my coaches this year are just outstanding. I've been just having a, a great time. We've had to manage higher numbers and, and uh, we've just really gelled as a, as a coaching group and we feel like uh, that's one of the best ones we ever had. Uh, our first assistant is uh, Coach Perry, if she's set for us. Okay. And then our second assistant is Jill Paris. Jill is a, Jill is a former player for uh, Fairmont, and Coach Perry was actually a former player for Redwood, so played number one for them. We're very experienced. Uh, if we could just have uh, our seventh grade girls take a step forward. Good, that's our seventh grade group. And eighth grade girls. That's a very large group for eighth grade girls, okay. And freshmen. And 10th graders. Missing a couple here today, okay. And 11th graders. There they are. And then, and the seniors. Okay, 
And with that group, I just want you to take a look at the variety. I'm gonna, if you've take, if you've played in a varsity match this year, okay, so far, take a step forward. If you've played in a varsity match, you can see we have a wide variety of players, young and old, that have been it. So uh, we have two home matches next, next. Uh, well, we actually have one tomorrow. You can come on out and watch us, and then next week we'll have uh, Blue Earth over here at the courts. If you haven't seen a tennis match, come on out and enjoy watching a real good team. Thanks. Football coaches, football players, come on up. As they're coming up, just a couple quick reminders. We got the annual pass. We have the drawing here in a little bit. So make sure they got their hands up in the air. Uh, make sure you get over there, put your name in the in the bucket. We uh, pull the winner. Um, we also have some extra pizzas here. Uh, if you come up afterwards and you're still hungry and you want to wheel and deal a little bit, I'm sure they'll make a, a deal with you on some pizza. Maybe even a whole pizza. Right, Rhonda? Yeah. So if you want to wheel and deal a little bit, um, we have that opportunity. For a while now. Um, this is this is our final third week of, of practice, um, but these guys have been hard at it since about March. Um, my, this this is my 11th year now as head football coach, and I've never seen an off season with the number of guys in our weight room as these guys did this off season. It was unbelievable. We averaged 27 guys in the morning from March all the way to the first of June. It was it was phenomenal. Uh, they came in, they worked their tails off. And they went and had breakfast and went to school. They just did a phenomenal job. Uh, in June, we went out to Brookings, South Dakota. We went to a team camp out there. Uh, again, we competed with schools that are 4A, 5A, 6A, and we held our own. Um, so very, very proud of what these guys have done in the off season uh, to get them ready for their next step. Um, the last three weeks, we've been getting after it. Um, Football is a... Oh. Football is a hard sport. You got your helmet, you got shoulder pads, you got all your pads on. Uh, I make them run all the time, and they just keep on... There we go. Um, in my 11 years, we've been to the state tournament twice. And the one thing that, that, that sticks out in those years is leadership. It's not so much about talent. It's not so much about the plays that we're calling. It's about the leadership. And this is one of the years that the, our leadership is unbelievable. It's unbelievable in the locker room. It's unbelievable on the football field. It's going to transition over into the school. Um, come here next week. Um, and also in the community. These guys have just done a phenomenal job. I figured out that we probably practice about maybe 65 to 70 times um, a year. Uh, and so that, that's about 650 practices we've had. Yesterday was one of the best practices we've ever had out on that practice field. The guys, and it was hot out, and they worked their tails off. They were up and down, we were moving. Um, it was kind of like PJ Fleck, roll the boat kind of style. It was just nonstop, and these guys kept on pushing. Um, and I think that gives us an opportunity as coaches to keep on pre pressing these guys because we have high expectations for them and they have high expectations for themselves. Um, I can't do this alone. There's no way. I got, we got lots of guys out here. Um, assistant coaches right over here. Brad Johnson, come on over. Brad doesn't like this, so we're going to do it. How many years have you been? How many years? 18. 18 years. And what do you do? Defensive coordinator. D-line, O-line. And what's your favorite movie? The Martian. The Martian, all right, cool. Mr. Brian Willey? Brian Willey is our offensive coordinator. What position do you Offensive line. And? Defensive line. Defensive line. What's your favorite hat to wear to practice every day? No comment. No comment, all right. Hey, Mr. Willey, 
Come here, I'm not done with you. Do we want to talk about the blocking sled? No, we won't, no. Hey, Mr. Willie, what's your favorite thing to eat? Steak. Steak, all right, steak, excellent. Coach uh, Kesselring, come on up. Yahtzee. New teacher, John Kesselring, comes from Iowa. We'll hold against him, no applause. Okay, none, zero, okay. Um, by the end of the year, we'll be having him roll the boat. Um, so where are you coming from? Uh, Carroll, Iowa. Carroll, Iowa. And John was head football coach how many years? Four. Four years. John will be coaching the JV this year, and he also coaches the? Quarterbacks and defensive backs. Who's the best athlete that's, that's counting coaches on our team? Me. <laughs> He's not getting paid, I guess, this year, so. Coach Kelsering. We also have, how many seniors we got out here today? 13, I think there's 13 of you guys. We're gonna start down here at the end, and you're gonna say your name, position, and I'll have a weird question for you. Nick Seagar, outside linebacker. Uh, favorite movie? Uh, shooter. Shooter. Riley Clary. D tackle. State. State. Okay. Colin Stuber, linebacker, and offensive guard. You got a girlfriend? <laughs> no. Okay. All right. Hear that, girls? Devin Johnson, defensive end. Defensive end. Uh, favorite thing to eat? Tacos. 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 Brady Allen, tight end, safety. And when was the last time you cut your hair? Probably December. Very good. And yeah, I'm going to give you two. I like giving you two. Uh, what's your nickname? VA. VA. Okay. Alex Fisher, defensive line. Defensive line. Do you know like what specific position? Defensive line? Defensive tackle. Oh, defensive tackle. That's good, coaches. We got them going. All right. Uh, favorite movie? Uh, grown ups. Grown ups. Okay. My big man here. Jeff and Byrne. And what position? Defense tackle. Defense. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Offensive tackle. Is that pretty funny? Yeah. Okay. Um, who's the best? Uh, who's the best athletic coach? You. You starting tomorrow? Cameron Saxton, offensive line. Play any defense? Defensive end. Defensive end. Okay. Uh, favorite uh, favorite animal on the farm? Cow. Cow. All right. Quarterback, <laughs> quarterback, and defensive back. Nate, are you married? <laughs> no, I'm married. Okay. Um, got a girlfriend? I do. And. Lexi Lund. Hey, Lexi Lund. Where are you at, Lexi? How you doing? Okay. Um, here's your question, Nate. What's your favorite song to sing in the shower? Songs from Moana. Songs from what? <laughs> Moana. Okay. Connor Tortson. Connor Tortson. What position? Center and defensive tackle. Defensive tackle. Probably hardest working player on the team, would you say? I think so. The guy's got some guns on him. Um, favorite movie? Uh, the Lion King. The Lion King. All right. Quiet Craig, wide receiver, D back. God, you're pretty excited, huh? You loose? You're happy. Okay. What's your favorite happy movie? Ice Age. Ice Age. All right. Last but not least, will be cool, D back. D back. And favorite thing to eat? Bacon. 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 I can't say enough about these seniors. They're awesome. They're they're great to work with. Let's give these guys a round of applause. I'd like to bring Miss Collenbach up. Where's Miss Collenbach? Miss Collenbach, you don't want to come up? Huh? I think we should bring Miss Collenbach and Miss Goodall up. How about Miss Belize? I think she helps out too in the with the musical. I think she would be good to have up here. Is he married? No, I don't know. Let me see him with her. I had to ask a question. <laughs> Okay, we're up here to talk about um, our favorite fall production, the musical. We've had a couple of really exciting and outstanding years of that the last two years together. Um, this year is going to be a little bit of a departure from what you're accustomed to. We had 
Mary Poppins Disney first year and then we had Little Mermaid Disney second year and so we're gonna leave Disney a little bit this year and this year's production is the Stephen Sondheim masterpiece Into the Woods. Now I know that that's maybe a show that some of you aren't familiar with so just to give you a little preview if you can imagine that all of your favorite fairy tale characters are going to spend act one going into the woods on a quest to get the very things that are important to them. But then act two, there is going to be some consequences to their actions. And the woods is the place where they're all going to meet and intersect. So Cinderella is going to meet Rapunzel, is going to meet Little Red Riding Hood, is going to meet Jack and the Beanstalk, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So it is still a great show. It's a family show, um, a little different from what you're used to. Um, our audition process is also going to be just a little different from what you're used to. Different production is going to require some different things. So I just wanted to let you know we will be having a lot of information coming out to you the first week of school on where to get that info, how to get that info, and when to get that info so we can get you all um, into the auditorium and auditioning for this awesome show. I guess I gotta behave now, Miss, Miss Niss is up here, and I believe Mr. Tradle is coming up as well, but I'm gonna pass the mic to these two. All right, well, thank you all very much for coming. Um, and I just, again, a couple of announcements. Don't forget, I know Matt said this too, but sign up for the free pass. There's two passes that are being given. One, you just sign up and you have to be present to win at eight. The other one, and we'll leave the table set up, but if you can identify the new activity that we will have available to our students this year, put that on the, um, on the drawing, and then if you're drawn and you have the correct activity, you will win a free pass as well. Um, the other thing is the band boosters are here selling their cardinal wear, so they're over in the corner there, so please um, make or go down there and check out their new clothes. Um, we would like to bring up the last team that we would like to feature tonight, and that is our team of teachers. So if the junior, senior, high teachers would please come forward. Science 9 and also biology this year. 
Um, a second new high school staff that we have is Rick Hotzler, who will be teaching industrial technology. And we're sharing Rick with Grenada, and they're having an event very similar um, to this tonight as well. So he's over at Grenada tonight, but Rick will be teaching for us part time. Um, I also would like to introduce Charlotte. Here is Hofstrom. Um, Charlotte actually joined us last February, and she is our English language learner teacher. And I actually just talked to Charlotte today about possibly us having a writing lab, something we have not had in Fairmont. Um, and Charlotte teaches also up at MSU their composition class. So Charlotte um, has moved to Fairmont and will be commuting to Mankato when she teaches up there. So Charlotte Harris Hofstrom. And then we're going to introduce Jonas Nissen. Um, Jonas joined us. So last year we had this event and Jonas wasn't part of our staff yet. We hired Jonas on the Friday before Tuesday of the first day of school. So this is Jonas's first event. He was with us all last year, but we just wanted to introduce him to you since he missed out on this last year. Um, and now Mr. Trado is going to introduce the new junior high staff. All right, you're already introduced to uh, Mr. John Kesselring, who will be teaching uh, eighth grade physical education and health for us this year. We also have Mrs. Ashley Scavel, who will be teaching seventh grade pre-algebra for us this year. Um, and then Brooke Schultz, who is not new to the district, but will be her first year at the junior senior high school teaching seventh grade English language arts. Um, and then last but not least, uh, Officer Mike Belletti has been hired to be our school resource officer for the Fairmont Area School District for the upcoming school year. Um, before we finish here and turn the mic back over to, to Mr. Mahoney, just a reminder that Mrs. Niss will be in the Commons um, when we get done here uh, for a parent roundtable to answer questions uh, with anything that you may have. As well, the senior high teachers will be in their classrooms for you to, to walk through your schedules if need be to meet and greet your senior high teachers. Um, and then for students and their families in grades 7 and 8, we will have a junior high orientation um, from 7 to 7.30 in the Performing Arts Center, followed by a time for you to walk through and explore your schedules as well. Yep, and then when we're all done at 8 o'clock, we'll do the drawing right out here in the high school, or in the horseshoe for the, for the activity passes. Now we'll turn it back over to uh, Mr. Mahoney. Again, just want to finish this up here. We're going to play our school song. Our cheerleaders will come back out. More than anything, I just want to say thanks to you parents for everything that you do for your kids and the support that we have out here at the high school. It is flat out amazing. Um, I know a lot of us coaches, we take extreme, extremely great pride in what we do out here, and we're going to, we're going to give you everything we got this fall. So thanks again for coming out. Most importantly, fight on. Kate, you ready for the school song?